And we begin this half hour with the $3.7 billion to help children in Michigan schools. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. The money is part of the American Rescue Plan, but state lawmakers missed the May 24th deadline to allocate the dollars. 7 Eyes News reporter Kim Russell has more on what happens now. As our state leaders miss a deadline for allocating billions of dollars meant for our children in our public schools, we're going to work to hold those responsible accountable. We are now jeopardizing $3.7 billion in federal funding for our students' recovery. Robert McKinn and is the executive director of the K-12 Alliance of Michigan. He worries. Yeah. Could Michigan lose billions of dollars for children? I asked State Senator Wayne Schmidt, a Republican from Traverse City and the Education Appropriations Chair in charge of allocating school dollars about the money. We plan on getting all of the federal dollars out, meeting timelines and deadlines. I asked him about this letter the Michigan Department of Education shared with me that it sent to notify the federal government the state missed the deadline for allocating billions. He said he would have to look into that, but that the state has received the money. We're not planning to send any dollars back. The administration has been a unique challenge uh, to, to communicate with. Right now, those dollars are being held hostage at the state level, and they're not in the, the hands of school districts who are charged with educating our students. So. Here at Valley Schools, Superintendent Paul Salah says his district expects to get about $5 million that it plans to use to help kids catch up academically. This is a look at a list from the Michigan Department of Education estimating how much districts could get in funding. The amount is based on the number of students and poverty rates. Detroit Public Schools Community District Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vitti says he expects to get more than $600 million for learning programs and improving infrastructure such as HVAC systems to prevent the spread of illness. This is going to grow as an issue uh, by late summer if those dollars aren't in because we have a lot planned for the summer and the fall that are linked to those dollars. State Senator Schmidt says the governor's office simply isn't communicating with lawmakers to help them get this done. The governor's office, however, says that the governor has had weekly or bi-weekly meetings with legislative leaders to continue to work on policy. <laughs> Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Amanda.